is CBS 12 News at 6. The news starts now. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Liz Kidantas. And I'm Jim Grimes. An Amber Alert for a Treasure Coast child is still active tonight. The boy was living with his grandparents who had custody of him. That's where he was believed to be taken. The neighborhood just east of I-95 near the Spanish Lakes Country Club. CBS 12's Amber Robb joining us tonight in Fort Pierce with the details. I'm here on Nuevo Lago Street in Fort Pierce, where neighbors say this is where the boy's grandmother lives. And throughout the day today, we saw deputies from the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Department canvassing the neighborhood, asking neighbors questions. And we even saw department cars that were marked and unmarked parked along this stretch of road. But authorities say this is the last place 12-year-old Leon Scarborough was seen. A child gone missing. It's a situation no family wants to be in. And then we heard the Amber Alert. And when it said the 6500 block of Nueva Locos, I thought, oh, that's my neighbor. So maybe something happened down there. So then uh, we saw the Amber Alert that it was the boy that was missing. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office saying 12-year-old Leon Scarborough went missing from the Spanish Lakes Fairways area on July 6th around 9.15 p.m. According to the Sheriff's Office, Leon was last seen wearing a dark colored shirt and shorts and yellow Crocs. He also wears a large silver chain around his neck and has a mole on his shoulder blade. I hope they find him. According to authorities, Leon was placed in the custody of his grandmother in December, who lives in the area. Neighbors say they haven't seen the young boy that often. Once in a while we see the, the boy there. Cute little boy. Used to say hello to him when he passed. Waved back to me. That's, you know, about it. Uh, I didn't interact with him at all, but he seemed friendly and nice. Leon's mother was granted supervised visitation, but two weeks ago, the boy's father, 54-year-old Tracy Scarborough, was served a no-contact order. Authorities believe Leon is with his father. Authorities say recently Tracy has made violent threats towards people involved in his custody case and that he has a violent criminal history. If you do see them, authorities say do not approach them contact law enforcement immediately. Reporting in Fort Pierce, I'm Amber Rob, CBS 12 News.